Uh, hello everybody, today we're going to be going over uh, curved surface area for cones and stuff at the IB Man Studies level. So the problem gives us this diagram right here and it tells us that we have a solid right circular cone okay, with a base radius of 21 centimeters, a slant height of 35, the, a smaller right circular cone on top with a height of 12 and a slant height of 15. Okay, And well, there's the diagram. So first things first, just to get familiar with the formula booklet, we have the area of of the surface of a cone right here with pi times r times l with l being a height and for the volume of a cone it would be one third times pi times r squared times another height okay and the height for the volume is going to be the vertical height okay so for example this 12 right here and for the surface area it's going to be the slant height okay which is through the side which in this scenario would be the 15 right there okay this problem doesn't have volumes, but I still wanted to point it out because it's a classic mistake, okay? This L is slant height, and this one is for vertical height. So, for part A, it asks us to calculate the radius of the base of the cone, which has been removed, okay? So, we're looking at the top one. The value we're looking for is the radius right here, right? Which we're going to call X, okay? Now, we have to use all the information they give us and read carefully. They tell us that we have a solid right circular cone. Okay, if they tell us that it's a right circular cone, that means there's a right angle right here. Okay, so that's a key word. You have to watch out for it. And if you see here, there's actually a triangle that forms. Okay, and every time you see a right triangle, you want to start thinking of Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so I'm going to redraw it over here. We have x right there, 12 here, and 15. Right? So using Pythagoras' theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, with c squared being the hypotenuse, like the long side, the opposite of the right angle, we're going to plug and chug and have x squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. Okay? Leaving x alone, 15 squared minus 12 squared, we do uh, the square root on both sides. That gets rid of the exponent of 2 x equals the square root of 15 squared minus 12 squared. Okay, and if we put this in the calculator, we're going to end up with x equals 9. Okay, so that is part A. Okay, and when you put the answer for part A, um, well, with all geometry problems and such, units are super important and they're part of the score as well. Okay, so it's not just 9, it's 9 centimeters. Okay. Now for part B, it asks us to calculate the curved surface area of the cone, which has been removed. Okay, so it's the one up here. Okay, usually for part B, you're going to need something from part A, and for part C, something from part B, as a general rule. And in this scenario, we needed the radius, right? So using this formula right here from the booklet, you plug in and have that. We're going to have pi times r, which is 9, times l, which they gave us is 15, okay? And this will give us, it's going to give us 424.115 centimeters squared, okay? The reason it's squared is because we're dealing with area. The reason this is to the power of 1 is because it deals with distance, and with volume, it's, the units are going to be cubed, okay? Okay, and for part C, we have to calculate the curved surface area of the remaining solid. Now, this is a little bit more tricky because the cone on the bottom has been like cut off. So you can't calculate the surface area of this in a direct manner. Okay? You have to calculate the whole cone and then subtract the top part. Okay? So calculating for the whole cone, we're gonna have pi times r which is 21 times L which is 35. Okay? The slant height of the whole cone and the radius of it as well. And this is going to give us, okay, so the curved surface area of the whole, the whole cone is going to be 2,308.635. So now we have to subtract the curved surface area of the top cone, which is what we got in part B. So we do 2,308.635 minus 424.115. And we're going to end up with 1,884.95 
centimeters squared. Okay, so that is the answer. Um, I do want to say one thing. The problem is asking for the curved surface area, so you can just use this formula and you're good to go. Remember that the curved surface area, of course, is going to be what's around the cone. If they were asking, which would be like, I don't know, the, the outline that goes like this, right? If they were asking for the whole surface area, you would have to add the top part, which is the circle. Okay, so that's an important distinction. Every time we talk about surface area, you have to think about uh, dipping the object, like, I don't know, in chocolate, and what part of it stays covered, right? But in this scenario, it's only asking for the curved surface area, so it's, you wouldn't have to add the circle, okay? But that's something that, well, it depends on the problem, and it's just good to know that it could happen. So that's it, and I hope it helped.